Yeah, yo. How you doing? JJ Shiplet here. Hope you're doing well. I got a brand new record coming out. It's called Fingers Crossed. It's coming out uh, this Friday, March 20th, 2020. Um, what a crazy, crazy time we're living in right now. Uh, if you know what you're doing, tell me, because I got no clue what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm really excited for you to hear it. And I'm hoping that uh, while you're locked down at home, you're able to find your way to listen to it, put it into your rotation and uh, see what happens. Maybe you just might like it. Um, together with the reviews are in, uh, they've asked five rapid questions and I'm supposed to give five rapid responses. Um, obviously with social distancing, that ain't happening now. So we're just doing it over the internet. So I'm gonna just go for it and let's see what happens. Number one. If I had to listen to a record at home, I can't skip a song. What's it going to be? It's going to be Kathleen Edwards' Voyager. Um, I don't know if you've ever listened to that record. It came out about 2013. It is an incredible record. The production, the writing, uh, the sound of her voice is incredible. Everything about her. Oh, look. It's right here. I got it in my hand. This is what it looks like. It's an amazing record. Um, question number two. Keep moving, this moving along. What's a dream stage for me to play on? Well... A dream stage is Massey Hall in Toronto. Um, and I've actually played Massey Hall twice. Uh, once with uh, Johnny Reed and once with the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And both times were incredible experiences. Call Me Greedy, I'd like to headline there one day. So um, if you're watching this video and you are at that show when it happens, remind me of this moment. Question number three, dream collaboration. Dream collaboration, I'm going with uh, Brandy Carlisle. Brandi Carlisle, um, she had a record years ago called The Story, and it hit me so hard. It it helped shape so much of my songwriting. Um, and if you haven't heard of it, you probably have heard the song The Story. Uh, and it has beautiful, be beautiful lyrics. Check that record out, The Story by Brandi Carlisle. Uh, question number four. If I weren't a musician, what would I be? I would be a private investigator. Don't even have to think about that one. That's my next career. Um, I'm mainly interested in the stakeouts, the cigarettes and coffee. I don't even smoke anymore, but the cigarettes and coffee are pretty, uh, that's where I'd want to be. So a private investigator. If you need me to investigate something, just let me know. I can start now. I'm looking for other opportunities to make money these days. Is there a band that uh, people need to be, be paying more attention to? Yes, there is. There's an artist by the name of Tennille Towns. If you haven't heard of her, um, go check out her song, Jersey on the Wall, right now. Uh, she's blowing up all over the world. I think she's uh, from Grand Prairie. Now she's down in Nashville. Uh, years ago, she, she got me to play a charity event that she was uh, running, and I was blown away at the amount of money they raised at the organization that she had and her dedication to helping people around her. And then that's just part of her. She's an incredible singer, an incredible songwriter. Uh, if you haven't heard of Tennille Towns, now's your opportunity and make sure you tell her that I sent you her way. Not that it'll matter to her, but you know. Hey, thanks the reviews are in. Uh, stay safe over there and stay locked down and uh, we'll see you guys when we come out of this mess.